Hey guys, I thought I'd do a quick video and show you one of the fragrances that I got for Christmas. I was so chuffed to get this one and simply because, in my opinion, this smells just like my all-time favourite fragrance. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, as the title suggests, you already know what it is. Nas Darej by Razassi. Now this gets compared time and time and time again to Valentino V. Now, I have a sample of that by Perfume Parlor and I was a massive fan of the original back in the day before it got discontinued. And before I go into this fragrance, I will start off by saying guys, if anyone's interested, it is bang on. It is 99.9% .9 like Valentino V, guys. It's amazing. Now, the bottle, it's not a first impressions, guys, obviously, so I have got the box. The bottle is a really nice design, very sturdy, heavy, and the juice inside is... Oh, what a colour, guys. What a colour. I mean, it just looks sexy, doesn't it? Let's be fair, it just looks sexy. The lid is a nice, good fit. And the sprayer, albeit plastic, is nice and robust. Gives out a good amount of juice. Good spray on this, guys. Really good spray. Now, straight away, it is very fresh. There, there, there is a freshness to it. I do get the spiciness. The cardamom really comes through. Then as it dries down guys, the rose becomes quite prominent, but it's when it gets down into that base that, for me, is the best part of this fragrance. The sandalwood, the amber, the tonka, the vanilla, the patchouli, it is just awesome guys. I can't believe, I genuinely cannot believe how much it smells like Valentino V. This has been covered by... A YouTube friend of mine, Stephen, and I believe he from Simply Put Sense has covered this as well, and they both highly rate this, and I just had to get my nose on it, so I'm really glad that uh, <laughs> Santa brought me this one. It's absolutely stunning, guys. It starts off so kind of spicy and fresh, then mellows out to a really nice, creamy, smooth vanilla ambery kind of almost slightly chocolatey fragrance the performance on this guy's right honest to god four sprays eight hours plus it is a really really good performer and for the first four to five hours the projection is is is, is epic to be honest with you <laughs> i really wasn't expecting it to be as good as it is truly i wasn't I mean, after the three hour mark, I could still smell it on myself. Not just people passing by or, you know, my girlfriend making comments, but I could still f smell it radiating off me. Fantastic performance on this, guys. And it's a definite, definite compliment get there. Now, for me, it's an evening fragrance through and through, guys. I wouldn't, I I wouldn't want to waste this just knocking about in the daytime. To me, it's an outstanding evening fragrance or in the daytime if you're going to a wedding really nice in these cold crisp type of months when you want something nice sexy cozy this is going to be now <laughs> i did say that oud 24 hours was going to be my go-to scent for the winter this knocked off top spot guys this is outstanding what, what a fragrance i'm so so glad and extremely lucky that I now own this and you know the price I think I was told it cost 20 pounds so you know it's, it's a steal guys it's a real steal but the fragrance is just it's mind-blowing guys it's truly mind-blowing when I've got it on I can't stop sniffing my wrist so if anybody wants a copy of Valentino V pick this up or if you just want to really really God damn sexy fragrance. Pick this up. This is outstanding, guys.
you know it really is and i just look forward to going out so i can put it on because oh, it's amazing well that's just one of the fragrances i uh, i had this christmas i hope you all had a nice christmas and i hope you all have a nice new year i'll be bringing you another fragrance review in the new year uh again another one there for christmas one that i uh I've never, I had never put my nose on. It, it was pretty much blind sniffing, to be honest with you. So I'll be bringing you that one very soon. Well, guys, happy new year. Have a good one. Don't drink too much. Who am I kidding? You're all going to be pissed. Take it easy, guys.